Welcome to Everything Vegas, a local's look at the city of Las Vegas on and off the Las Vegas Strip. My name is London. On this channel, we like to find the nooks and crannies in the hidden gems in Las Vegas. If you like the content, please hit the like button. It helps us out greatly. And let's get to the video. Las Vegas Greek Food Festival 2021. You might be asking, what is the Las Vegas Greek Food Festival? Well, let me tell you. This is a local community festival that celebrates Greek culture and heritage in the Las Vegas area. Uh, the Las Vegas Greek Food Festival is traditionally held at the St. John the Baptist Greek Orthodox Church in Paradise, Nevada, just a couple miles west of the Las Vegas Strip. So if you've never been to this event, either because you're a traveler uh, who's temporarily here in the city of Las Vegas, because you're a new resident to the area, or simply because you've just never been, I'd highly recommend you check this out. There's always a lot of interesting food floating around. There's a lot of great people, great vibes, and overall, a good outing for the community. Some of the highlights and standouts are that there's tons of vendors, there's a stage with live music, a cool play area for kids with a bounce house village, rides, games, snow cones, and other treats for the kids. And for the adults, there are plenty of spirits to go around because people like to hang out by the stage, dance, and converse outside while the weather is nice. You'll often find shots of ooze floating around. Ooze, if you've never had it, it's a traditional Mediterranean drink. Just think along the lines of Jägermeister. Everybody has a glass or a bottle of wine at their table. Overall, it's just a huge party. Opa. And yes, of course, you can always find some great Mediterranean food in the area. But what you're gonna find here is a lot of really fresh Mediterranean food, which if you've never had before, might be a little bit different, but it's a lot of fresh clean eats, a lot more greens mixed with either lamb, beef, chicken, Slovaki, grilled chicken or pork on a skewer wrapped in pita bread and garnished with tzatziki sauce. Greek kefteres, which is a seasoned Greek meatball, fried hush puppies, Greek salad with extra feta cheese, uh, chicken pitas with zesty Greek fries, heroes that have various meats, onions, tomato, and tzatziki sauce wrapped up in a toasted pita flatbread. One of my favorites I found there were the lamb chops. Hand-carved lamb chops that were grilled up. They look absolutely delicious. Spanakopita, which is a buttery filo dough pie stuffed with creamy egg and cheese mixture with spinach. Once you really settle into the event, the food really just complements the atmosphere and really hits the spot. It's delicious and will have you forgetting that you're even in Las Vegas. This event, in my opinion, is a really nice change of pace from what most think about Las Vegas. It really promotes a big difference in what most would be accustomed to on the Vegas Strip. Everyone from every background is welcome to join, and by the end, you really feel inducted into the Greek family heritage. Just a touch on the church, even if you're not a huge religious person, this church is beautiful and it's worth checking out. And this church raised $400,000 to decorate more of the church's interior. They actually hired four different artists to come out from Greece and they spent two months installing the new icons. During the festival, it's free to go in and see all of the masterful artwork that they put up and it actually really looks really cool and it's a nice extra touch when you're coming out to check out the festival. So last year there was no Greek food festival for obvious reasons, the world was in a different place. Uh, so I'm not sure if it was me or not, but this year it felt like there was almost double the people, or at least just a ton more people. If I have to be honest, the entire place did really feel packed, not necessarily in a bad way, but it was a lot of people there. Overall it's still a good time, I had a blast checking out everything. And I would still strongly recommend this for anybody interested in checking out the culture and food and heritage of Greek Americans. And it's absolutely a blast and you'll definitely feel the vibes once you get there. Oh, and I almost forgot, dessert. One of my favorites of Greek culture definitely has to be the baklava. So if you've never had this sweet treat, baklava is a rich phyllo pastry filled with chopped walnuts and sweetened with a light honey syrup drizzle. I ended up getting a whole variety of tray of different baklavas the first night. And I would say the highlight to me of the festival had to be the baklava treats that they served, which they had some things I've never heard of in my life. 
a baklava frosty. That's right, Wendy's eat your heart out. They had a baklava frosty. But my absolute favorite was the baklava sundae, which was chocolate or vanilla soft served ice cream topped with that baklava, with baklava crumbles and pieces of baklava inside. Absolutely delicious. My mouth's watering a little bit just thinking about it. It was something I've never had before. Absolutely special, absolutely delicious, and just a really good way to end the night. If this is something you'd like to check out in the future, you can plan ahead for Las Vegas Greek Food Festival 2022 by checking out their website. I hope to see you at the Greek Food Festival next year. And if not, I may be back next year with a more in-depth video if this is something you guys like. But that's all I have for you here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Smack that like button if you enjoyed this video and we will catch you in the next one. Thank you and have a great day.